Well, I actually think laser scanning is where GPS was in the 80s. When I went to college in the late 80s, early 90s, we used to have these big, huge suitcases that took these big, huge car batteries, and we could only do GPS at 3 o'clock in the morning. And if you said GPS to someone, nobody but pilots and people that had boats, and even the boat people back then, um, captains and so forth, didn't really use GPS. But um, they were the only ones who knew what it was. And as you've seen, GPS has infiltrated every aspect of our life. Cell phones, I mean, everything has GPS. Everything is positioned now. I mean, my iPhone has it. Automobiles have it. Basically, we got precise precision for everything. So I, I look at 3D laser scanning as the same thing. Um, 20 years from now, you know, Surftech will probably have later scanners, obviously, but we will be, instead of going out and doing a 2D map and engineers and architects and even landowners have to look at it and say, they have to relate this in their mind, they'll be able to pull up a 3D model and actually walk through the site, walk through the building, walk underneath the trees, see the drip line of the trees. Um, everything will be in 3D. Well, it'll be a, it'll be a virtual it'll be a virtual reality. Engineers will actually be building stuff in 3D and seeing how it fits into the site and instead of making assumptions they'll have all the data to, just like they were building in the field. So the engineer will actually be building it in a virtual world and the construction company will be building it in a real world.